Howdy, I'm Darren Hibbs with the 10-Week Bible, and I wanted to share a short thought with you today out of Genesis chapter 32. You know, when we think of the land of Israel, we think of a place. Maybe sometimes we think of a people group, but how often do we think of a person? You know, Israel, his original name was Jacob. And most of the time when we think of Jacob, we think of just that. We think of the man Jacob and we think of the nation of Israel. But actually God changed his name to Jacob in this passage here in Genesis chapter 32. Let's read that really quickly, starting in verse 26. Then the man said, let me go for it is daybreak. But Jacob replied, I will not let you go unless you bless me. The man asked him, What is your name? Jacob, he answered. Then the man said, Your name will no longer be Jacob, but Israel, because you have struggled with God and with humans and have overcome. Names are a really important thing, not only in our society, but in every society in the history of mankind. A name is what you are known by. Your reputation is attached to your name. Your inheritance is attached to your name. Almost everything that we have in life springs from and comes back to our name. You know, in our modern culture, we've, you know, gone to social security numbers and phone numbers. And so sometimes we're known by numbers, but our name is what connects with us on the deepest level. Our name can also be the thing that Sometimes we wish to forget. We've all done things that we're not proud of. We've all done things that we wish that we could, you know, sweep under the rug and people remember us by those things and they're attached to our name. In Revelation, the Lord tells us that all of the redeemed, all of the saints, believers who name the name of Jesus, they will all be given a new name, one that is free from all of the sin and all of our past. And it's powerful. It's a fresh start. As Jacob was coming back into the land that God promised him, the land that is going to be known as Israel for the rest of eternity, God gave him a new name. And that land is not named Jacob today. It's named Israel. And this was a fresh start for Jacob. God gave him a new name as he's coming into this place so that he can be a whole new person. You know, the Lord has a new name for you and for me, for all of us who name the name of Jesus. One day, we will receive that name and with it, an entirely new identity, completely redeemed, completely free from sin and shame and bondage. Do you know Jesus? When you meet him on that day, will he say to you, well done, good and faithful servant? Because if you do, you will get that new name that has nothing of your sinful past attached to it. If you don't know him, I pray that you will. If you've never given your life to Jesus before, I pray that you'll pray this prayer with me right now. Lord, I ask that you would come into my life. Jesus, forgive me of my sins and save me. I want to know you. I want to follow you. I want to serve you. I want to obey you. And I want to love you, Jesus. Come and fill my heart and fill me with the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you just prayed that prayer for the first time, I would love for you to contact me. In in the the notes below, I'll put some uh, contact information so you can find me. If you just prayed that prayer for the very first time, please contact me so I can help you find resources and people that can help you walk and grow in your Christian life with God. If you're enjoying these videos, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and you know what to do with all of that. I'm Darren Hibbs for the 10-Week Bible. I'll see you next time.